Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn how we can make HTML form and submit its value to the controller. So for that, these are the various steps. First of all, we will make HTML form in the view file. Then we will make a controller. Then we we have to make the two routes: one for the HTML form, which is for the view, and second for the controller. And this will be the post route, right? So till now we are just use the get route. In this video, I will tell you why we use the post route also, and then we can get the value of this HTML form to the controller. And at the last, I will ask you a interview question also. So now this is our uh, output window, and uh, this is the code editor. We will just write the code. First of all, I am just going to make a controller. So just just simply write here PHP artisan. make controller and uh, controller name so let's say my controller name is users controller hit the enter and uh, here you can see that we got a controller right so let's make a function inside it so just simply write here function get data and you can put any name to this function index save whatever you want and uh, just write here echo or return it something like uh, uh form data will be here right so now let's uh, make a route for it so that we have to go inside the routes web.php and just import it first of all let's write here use app http controller and uh, in the controller we can just simply write here uh, it's a controllers right and then our controller name which is users controller and now let's make a route I simply put here route get method, but we will make it a post. But first of all, uh, for a moment, I am just going to put it get, and I will tell you that why we just need to make it post with the reason, right? So just write here users, and uh, in the second one, just uh, take an array, and this array have the two keys. One is the this uh, controller class user controller colon colon class. and uh, the second will be the uh, this function name as an string right so just simply put here get data right and uh, let's make it a semicolon to close the statement right so now this is fine now just uh, create a html for form and for that we need a html view so i am just going to make here users dot blade dot php just make simply h1 tag like this and put some uh text like uh, user login and something user login and uh, now let's make a form here in this form let's define input type equal to text name is uh, let's say username and let's put a placeholder like enter user id right and let's make it close here simply and to make some space just simply use two br tag copy this one and just simply paste it here and let's make it a password and username can be password or user password whatever you want and just write here enter user password right and uh, at the last let's make a button here and just put here login on this button as in text and just uh, define the type of it submit now we need to define the two more attributes on this uh, form one is action where it will be just submit so the user section will be there for submit it 
yes we can just make it like this and then method method will be defined the what method we are using post method are the safest method and which is used for the uh, post the form data right so we will just choose here post now everything is right now let's see uh, okay so now we need to just make it a post why we need to make a post because our request method is also post type if uh, we have a get method here then we can make it get right but for a moment post is fine because form data are just submitted as an post so in the next thing is that uh, in the web we need to make a route for uh, this page also so just write here route colon colon get oh sorry we need to just use here view and put put here the url which is users or you can just make it a login if you want right and uh, the second one for the uh, view file which is users right we don't to write we don't need to write here blade.php it will laravel is smart enough to understand it so just simply write here a login right now you can see that i can just add some id and password so now whenever i'm just going to submit it it will just give me some error right so let's try to it now you can just find that 419 page expire because we did not pass here uh, csrf token so just simply add here at the rate cs rf so it will provide a page uh, it will just provide a security token for so that we cannot just uh, make the cross site request right and now you can try let's say my password is 123 and okay the form data will be here we are on the form but how we can just get the data that we are just submitted from here so for that first of all you need to a uh, request type parameter so just put here request and this request actually belong to the http right and then just simply write here req even you can use the request complete any variable name whatever you want and just simply use request and it have a function and let's go like this just submit it again mm, password 12345 submit it now you can see that we got the token username and the password so this is the way that how we can just get the data from php form to php uh, html form to laravel controller if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box in the next video i will show you how we can submit this data to the uh, database also right so thanks for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care